I'm Mark Dredge, and I love beer. I love the stories of beer. I love the flavors of beer. And most of all, I love learning more about the local cultures and customs of beer. And the best place to discover those cultures and customs is in the pub. We have a great pub culture in the UK, but I've come to a place where pubs are woven into the fabric of life. A place where the pub has its own language and rituals and traditions and food. And that's right here in the Czech Republic. Part of the reason I love the Czech Republic is that beer rules here. And speak to any Czech and you'll find out that the thing that matters most about the pub is the quality of that beer. It's not about how nice the pub looks or fancy lighting. It's simply about how well the beer is kept and served. And that quality is down to one person, the Vichetny or the beer tender. I'm in Prague to meet Lubosz, podcaster and owner of various Czech pubs. There's no better person to give me an inside track on what these guys do and why they're so important. You know, in any Czech pub, the beer is the heart and Vichetny is the one who is in charge of it. So it actually depends uh, the quality and the reputation of any pub, how good his job is done. <laughs> so is it right that they train for years to do this job? Uh, actually, it's not about the pouring of one beer, the technicality, is the social role which Vichepni has. He has to learn the atmosphere of the pub, he has to live with the pub, and he has to pour for his guests. And, you know, this is something you cannot learn in one day or two days, you learn it in years. Now I've heard that if a great Vichepni leaves a bar that the customers follow, is this true? This is uh, true. Uh, as a pub owner, I say, uh, unfortunately but uh, fortunately for guests, because uh, that also shows how well his job is being done. Now, I'd certainly follow a great beer across town, but can you tell me about this pour? Because it looks really different to me. Ah, it's a special pour, which is called Nadvakrat. And uh, what it makes is that it makes uh, the beer less fizzy. Uh, it still uh, enables to have foam on the beer because foam protects the beer and it increases the most important fact, which is drinkability. It's not easy though, so why don't you have a go and try pouring it? All right, let's do it. Okay, show me how it's done. And let's learn from the best as we do this. That looks great. Now it's your turn, huh? I see. Okay. <laughs> so, boom, open. No pressure. Ooh. So now you proved why we chip is so important to any pub. <laughs> Of course, chances are, if you're in a Czech pub, you won't even get to meet the Vichepny, and that's because of this. So Lubos, tell me the tradition with these beer mats. The beer mats, uh, it's rooted in the Czech beer culture, uh, because when you come to pub, you don't order beer. You place the beer mat on the table, and then you just wait, and the magic happens. <laughs> it comes directly on your table. And to me, this feels really important for the drinking experience in a Czech pub. Oh, definitely. You don't need to go to the bar. You just sit uh, at the table and you wait uh, until the beer comes in front of you. And you can focus on the most important thing and it's talking to your friends. So it all feels like you are being hosted by the pub. And what we do when we cheer, then we cheer with clinking and then sealing it with hitting the table and then we drink. Nastravi. And if I have to stop drinking this delicious beer, then how do I show that I'm done? You don't need to go to the bar. You only do one thing. You use your beer mat, you put it on the glass, and that says everything. A big part of drinking culture here is what you eat with your beer. Czech menus are beer friendly. In fact, they're designed around dishes that are best eaten with beer, with flavors and ingredients that are paired to be perfect partners for great lager. I'm here at Poltz with Chef Jirka, one of Prague's most up-and-coming modern chefs. He's going to show me exactly what it's all about, which is great because I'm starving. These look great. Um, can you tell me what we've got? 
Máme tady tři klasické české jídla k pivu. Hovězí tatarák, pivní sír a nakládaný čerstvý sír. Tomu je topinka, máslo, tak bude to servírujeme. The, the pivní sír, or the beer cheese, that's my favorite. Um, can you tell me how you make it? To je vlastně farmářský kravský sír, který se potírá takovým slaným, slaným lákem, když zraje. Servírujeme to normálně s hosticí a cibulí. Pivní sír, ten název vznikl od toho, že si to lidi namáčeli v pivu a jedli to, jedli to přímo s tím pivem. To, já to dávám takhle zvlášť, ale normálně se to dává zamíchaný. So we add beer at the table. Jo, jo, přesně tak, přesně tak. Vezmeme si trošku pěny a zamícháme to s tím. Všechno to ukážu. And this is really typical. Takhle to je přesně typický. Někdo přidává ještě mletou papriku, okurky, máslo, to je na každém, ale já myslím, že tohle s touhle perfektní hosticí, že to takhle krásně stačí. Takhle to je. Vezmeme si kousek chleba, namažeme a jíme to dohromady. It's got such a strong flavor with the beer and the onions and the cheese, but it works so well with the beer because you have that nice sweetness and then the bitterness. Přesně tak. Tak to je vlastně se všema těma jídlama. Ta sladkost a hořkost tom pivu se přesně krásně doplňuje s těma kyselýma prvkama, ostrou cibulí a hosticí. And whenever I'm in the Czech Republic, I always order this food. Is, does everyone order snacks when they go and drink beer? No, většinou, většinou si tohle objednávají lidi až po třetím, čtvrtém pivu, ale je to tak, že si to vždycky tradičně objednáme. I love this. I wish I could take it home with me. So thank you so much for this. It's been great. Já děkuju. Na zdraví. Na zdraví. Pubs all over the world have regulars, locals, people who get the best seats and buy the most beer. But few places treat them as well as the pubs in the Czech Republic. They are almost the pubs' VIPs. They even have a special name, Stammgast. It's a German word and it means something like honored guest. Fortified by amazing lager and beer snacks and pretty well schooled in the rituals of the Czech pub, I've come to Česky Budivice, home of Budweiser Budvar, the national brewery of the Czech Republic, to meet a few Stammgasts. What does it mean to be a Stammgast? Stammgast znamená pro mě, když už jsem chodím 55 let, hlavně chodím na jedno místo a chodím s přátelama. Do you get special treatment as a Stammgast? Ano, mám tady svůj stůl, svoji židli, dobrý servis a kvalitní pivo. Wherever you travel, it's always a good idea to try and learn a few important words. I've heard the Czech pub has its own special language. Are there any words that you can teach me? Větrák, to říkáme tomu pivu, které někde dlouho stálo, až tam gas by ho nevypil. Nebo podmírák je ošizené pivo, ale to se tady nikdy nestane. Jí na jedno? Ah, to ale největší česká lež, protože nikdy to u jednoho neskončí. <laughs> Jedna jedno. And there you have the philosophy of the Stamgast in one simple line. But when the beer is this good, who can blame them? After more than one beer myself, I might not remember all of those words. But there's one thing I won't forget. The saying that defines the spirit of the pub in the Czech Republic. Nastravi.